We're live. Boom. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Woohoo. Now that I have your attention. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, I will. Hey, I did get here at 7.30 on here. You're not. Huh. I'm waiting for you, though, because I know it will take a few minutes for Facebook to catch up. So. I made sure that I didn't goof up like the last time. Um, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm thinking, how was your week? Connie, hi, you weren't here last week. How was your week? Golfing, Carol, hi. Who else is out there? Anybody? No, not yet. You guys are early. You found me quick. Um, oh, it's been a really eventful couple of weeks here. Um, I know I told you all. Ah, nice. In Virginia at a graduation. Fun. It's such an exciting time. Yesterday, I uh, worked the polls. And there was a girl there who was a senior. And I guess she's graduating very soon. And she was pretty excited about that. And it's it's always neat. Um it's just a neat time in, in their lives that they can graduate from high school, college, whatever. It's it's just the whole start of a new new adventure, right? So um, so I've been doing some some goofy medical stuff happening, and I think we're all done now. Um, they were talking about possibly putting a stent in, but now they decided, well, they didn't decide. It just kind of worked that way that that's not going to happen. So we're just going to be doing some medication and stuff like that. So yeah, it's good. It's all good. I'm okay with it. And uh, I can finally move on. I was, I was, you know, it's always in the back of your mind when something like that happens. And so now it's done. It's over. And <laughs> I don't have to deal with it anymore. And that's good. So, what are we going to do tonight? Well, first, you know, before I do anything, you can see I have this paper pumpkin sitting here. I just got it today. I haven't looked at it yet, so I thought it would be fun for us to look at it together. Thanks, Connie. Hi, Susie. Linda, hi. Everybody made it. Good. I'm just going to do this real quick. Let's open this box. So, anybody who doesn't get the paper pumpkin... Um, you know, yeah, if you don't get the paper pumpkin, this is what you would get if you did get the paper pumpkin. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn it around this way so you can see what's in the box. Um, there's always a stamp set. Okay, this particular stamp set is Cheers to Another Adventure. Life is meant for good friends and great adventures. There's a coffee cup, a compass, a hiking book. Happy birthday. Uh, it doesn't matter where you're going. It's who you have beside you is what this says. So, so that's pretty cool. It's a copper clay, which is one of the new in colors. Stamping spot. There's also an advertisement for the next one, which the next one is going to be Welcome In, which is going to kind of follow the sweet uh, Countryside In collection, I imagine. Um, but... So right now we have the in color things here. This is the Boho Indigo color tissue. <laughs> and this is what else is in here. So this is how they always come. If you if you're not familiar with paper pumpkin and you've never gotten a paper pumpkin, this is how they come. Uh, they they have a stamp set and a stamp. One stamping spot. It's always a different color. Well, not always, but it's usually a different color. And on top. And then wrapped up, there's uh, your bits and pieces and parts and bobs and all that stuff for your actual kit. Along with instructions. So I apologize to you guys who already do subscribe. 
but I know that there are some people who watch this later uh, in the week that might be interested in seeing it. So I just thought I'd do this real quick. It's not going to take me long. I'm just going to open it up and show you what's inside. So we have the instructions here. Um, this shows you what it makes. So it's going to make three, six, nine cards. Very colorful, pretty outdoorsy looking cards. And then these are the instructions. They're all in pictures. Very easy to follow. There's a pack of dimensionals. There's some twine. Uh, linen thread, actually. It looks like, uh-oh. Okay. And it went black, and I thought I it was only the computer that went that black. I don't think it was you guys. So these are the envelopes. Aren't these pretty? Look at that. There's three. There's three. <coughs> oh, these are pretty. No, sorry. And then these are the card bases. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> I like them. Almost too pretty to use for card bases, right? There's three of those. Three of those. Mountains with a canoe. These are for your um, greetings. They punch out. There's two pages of them, so... Okay, and then there's three more. These are very pretty. And there's some stickers here in case you want them. Oh, paper pumpkin by Stampin' Up. There's a boot, enjoy the outdoors, and a paddle, explore. And then there's a whole bunch of little punch out things. There's compasses, binoculars, and these are all Moody Mom. Okay, so you can see that's all to punch out, and there's some glue dots. That's it. That's what's in the kit. Very pretty kit this time. Very nice. So I just wanted to quick show you that Paper Pumpkin is a subscription box. Um, you can get them once a month. If you sign up for them once a month, uh, anytime you don't, you, you, you will always get an email telling you, hey, this is what might be coming, or this is what's going to be coming up. And if it doesn't look like something you like, you just go in and click no, <laughs> click zero instead of one for how many kits you want that week, that month, and you won't get it, and you won't get billed for it. Um, so you can, and then if you want, if you really like it, you can up that to two from one. <laughs> Otherwise, you will get one a month and you will be billed. I believe they're up. Yeah, $24.50 they are now. Okay, enough about paper pumpkin. What are we going to do today? Well, I'm going to pull a card, pull a number first. And before I pull the thing, I have to tell you, I have a card right now. Let's see. Carol, I think I gave you yours at the library. I'm getting back to my regular schedule. Um, yeah, Carol got hers. Karen, I have yours here. And Connie, I have yours. So you guys will get yours at the, I don't know, next time I see you. Susie, I also have one for you. And Barb, I still have one for you. This is from April. This is a long time ago. And I have it. It kind of ended up on the bottom of a pile. I'm sorry. But it did have a sticky note on it that said Barb. So... I'm getting that out in the mail to you right away. Promise. Um, let's see. What else can I tell you? So the new catalogs are well out. If anybody needs any, give me a holler. I will make sure you get the, get one. Um, oh, I know. Susie, we were talking about... Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Behind. Everybody's behind, right? I am so far behind. It's ridiculous. But anyway, I'm getting caught up, or I will. I'll get caught up, right? Yes. Okay. I was talking to Susie earlier today about um, a Zoom Zoom call, you know, just one of those Zoom chats, because we haven't had one for a while. In fact, we didn't have one at all in May. And I think that we can do it. Did I say Wednesday? I think I said Wednesday. Wednesday morning, like uh, 10 to 12. So if anybody's interested, we will do Zoom. Zom. Z-O-O-M. I put Zoom, Z-O-M. 
of Wednesday, 324 from 10 to 12. I don't have a set schedule for these. I just kind of, they just kind of crop up when they crop up. And so this one's going to crop up next Wednesday, 10 to 12. So if you want to join, give me a call or give me a holler, a, a, an email, and I will send you an invite. That's all there is to it. And you just click the click the link and boom, you're here. I send the invites out 10 minutes, 5, 10 minutes beforehand. So anytime you just want to send me the email, you send me an email asking me to include you. And about 10 of 12 or so, you will get an email from me. Click that link and I'll be here. <laughs> okay. Back to this drawing thing here. Okay. I just pulled Karen. Karen wins a card. So I have one here for you. And now I have a second one here for you. Let me write that down. Because these days, if I don't write everything down, you know, let's see what is today. Today is the 17th. Okay. Yesterday was election day. I did the polls. I told you that already, I think. That was uh, really <laughs> definitely a uh, downer. Not very many people showed up and it was really boring sitting around there all day. I wish I would have had my paper pumpkin there that I could have worked on it while I was waiting for people to come in to sign up. It was awful. I think our precinct had like 17% of all the people registered. That's not good at all. Excuse me. But anyway, okay. What, what we're going to do tonight, I called this, how do those builder punches work anyway? Because I know I had trouble with these in the beginning. Now, what do I mean by builder punches? Well, you know, you get these punches that are called cherry builder. I don't know what this one's called. I don't even have... The label on this, I always put the labels on, but the newest one is the little monkey builder. So, what I'm talking about by builder punches, I know we've had some other ones in the past, but what they do, they drive you crazy because they have like a piece here, a piece here, a piece here, and a piece here. There, 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 there. Okay. And it's all one punch. And when you punch it out, you have all these pieces, but they're all different colors or they're not, not punched right. So I'm going to show you how to deal with that and make it easy. Hopefully make it easy. I'm going to get myself out of the picture so that you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Now we have everything big and let's see if I can. Oh, yes, I can actually. That, that didn't add it. any light at all, did it? There. Okay. That helps some, maybe. Except that now I'm going to get in here and put shadows on. Right? One of these days, guys, I'm going to get this figured out. I swear. Um, I know they say, oh, yeah, that. Ooh, I just moved it, though. I don't want to move it. There is a light here, and I can turn it higher or not. It's not going up, but that is definitely creating a shadow. Yeah, so, I don't know. I'll figure this out one of these days. I know. I, I've been told the ring lights work pretty good. I have a little ring light. It doesn't work at all. So I'm not impressed, <laughs> but we'll see. All right, let's get on with this. So I'm going to start with the easier of the two, which is the cherry builder. And I'm just going to show you, this is the card we're going to do. It's a pretty easy one. <clears throat> Grab all the bits and pieces here. Um, okay, so see how we end up with the cherry? Look at the punch, okay? We got the cherry, we got the stem, and we got the leaves. And, like, I ended up with a red cherry, green leaves, and a brown stem. 
And I'm going to show you how right now. And I know some of you already know how to do this, but this is one of those things that's just weird. <laughs> and, and, and every time I get a new builder or punch, I go, oh, man. <laughs> so here we go. We have our Swedish Cherry stamp set. And we're going to use the, the okay, I'm not going to do that yet. Okay, what I'm going to do, I already have one cut out, but to show you what I'm doing, I'm going to do another one. So take a piece of plain white paper, stick a punch in there, and make yourself a template. Okay, there's your template. Take these pieces and throw them out. Okay. I have another one right here. And you can eventually see how garbled they get. But, so what we're going to do. We want a cherry. So here's our cherry. We want the leaf. We actually are going to use the leaf twice. We want the stem. Now the stem, you're going to take notice it's long and skinny and it moves. Be really careful when you put it down so that you don't stretch it. Because what you can do, I don't know if you can see this well, but you can make that straight. But you don't want to do that because you're using the punch. You want it to match the, the curve of the punch. So put it down just the way it goes. And don't mess with it. Just push it down so it stays. Okay. This is the paper that I'm going to punch. Yes, that's the paper I'm going to punch. Um, here's my template. I'm going to put my template right there. I am going to take, I'm using Sweet Sorbet because I'm using the Sweet Sorbet papers. Now, those papers are, I don't think they're part anymore. I think they're discontinued, and I'm sorry. I don't like to use discontinued stuff, but I've got oodles and oodles of this, this gingham, this, it's country gingham paper. I don't want to use it, so... Okay, so I'm using the sweet sorbet for the cherry. So, you know, the best thing here to do here is to take a piece of washi tape and where the heck is my washi tape? There. Take a piece of washi tape and just kind of stick this down. Or you could use a stamparatus if you happen to have one. Oh, thanks, Connie. <laughs> If you have a Stamparatus, use it. If you don't have a Stamparatus, sorry, because they're not available anymore. But um, put your cherry down right in the middle of your template. And actually, you will take notice that this fits inside there. You don't have to get... Get what? You don't have to get ink all over your template although i did the other one because i got sloppy what can i say okay so then we're going to take garden green and i'm using pecan pie pecan pie or pecan pie or pecan pie however you want to say it is one of the new colors that came in it's not an in color it's actually in the permanent line and I do like it, and I find it so useful. Uh, so I am so glad to put the stamp in the template and then put the block on. Oh, yeah, you could do that, too. Yeah, except I want different colors. So if I put all three, because I, I was thinking about that, too. You could put all your stamps. This is what Susie's saying, I think. If you put all your stamps down and then put the block down and lift it up, you'll have everything you know, it'll all be where you want it, but I want different colors, so I can't do that. 
So what I can do here is stamp that little guy in there. And then I'm going to take my garden green and I'm going to put the leaves in garden green. One here and one here. And then I'm going to close this all up. Or make a mess. And then when I lift my template up, there's my cherry. And it's set to go right in the punch. Except this paper is too. I'm going to cut a little bit off the bottom. That happens sometimes. So we're going to stick this here. And punch. And here's all our pieces. Now I'm going to put these pieces off to the side. Punch back. And I'm going to take my paper here that I have ready. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm using the damn, the um, Sweet Sorbet. This is an ink color from the last time around. And it's five and a half by four. Five and a half by eight and a half, and then I'm scoring it at four and a quarter to use for my base. Okay, and then I'm taking, I'm going to use, let's see, on this card, I use the white for my first layer. So, remember last week I told you, hold your paper up and put the glue on it so you're not so heavy with the glue. And I observed people not doing that at the library. <laughs> not all the stamps at one time and on one block. floppy stamps oh okay i get you susie i got you okay oh and by the way speaking of the library we did the library this past week and um came up with a cute card and i think i might show you that one maybe next week because it was really cute and i know linda thought it was so <laughs> Linda thought it was a hard card. It really wasn't. I, I mean, really, it was just a bunch of folds and cuts. You just had to kind of work with it. And so if you want to make a seed card next, let me see if I have it here. I think I took it downstairs. I'm here yet, guys. I just went to look. Yeah, I don't have it with me here. No. Oh, summer. No, nope, I don't have it with me. Oh, well. Um, but it was a really cute card. And I put it on Facebook. So I'm sure people saw it on Facebook. And I'm thinking that I could do that again with the marigolds because it was it was a cute card. The marigolds or the, I don't know, something else. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's move on. <laughs> Our next layer. Sure, Linda, anytime. <laughs> Be 
careful what you say. You're going to get put in Linda. Linda got put in Facebook jail last week. Speaking of ratting on you. Uh, I just, that I, just amazes me. Um, okay, so our first layer here, the white one was four by five and a quarter. We're going to go down a quarter inch with each layer. So the next one is going to be three and three quarters by five. And that one is going to go right there. Again, we are going to glue it right down. We're going to hold our paper up and stick the glue down. Want it light and then put it down. Then the last layer is just going to go across this part. So that piece was five inches. So we're going to go one inch by five. So I'm cutting one inch by five. And that piece is going to go across here. I think that there was a strawberry builder too somewhere along the way. Um, this would be cute for that too. I didn't if we did have one, I'm sure I have it somewhere here. <laughs> so I will be at the United Church of Christ in Robinsonia tomorrow from 1 to 3. It's open to the public. Anybody who wants to come can come. And then I will be back to the Warnersville Library on the first of June and that will be um, down in the basement from five to seven. When I say in the basement, the basement is very nice. It's finished off. It's very, it's a really nice room. It's a nice, uh, I really appreciate them for letting us use it. So I'm looking for my, oh, I'm not looking for anything as it's right here. The stamp that says birthday wishes that comes with that set. Right here again. Just... I keep putting ink away. Sweet sorbet. <laughs> when I know I need it. Um, you know, I was looking at this thinking, should I make another one all red? But I do kind of like that. I, everything is the same. I like it. So for this one, all I did was put the birthday wishes down as low as I can get it. Pardon my head if it's in the way. And then trim it with my paper trimmer. As... Close as I can. And then you can either, um, now on this one, I just angled the edges. I might, I think I'm going to flag the edges this time. So to flag it, you can either use the punch to flag it, which I'm not going to do this time just because I want to show you how to do this without the punch. Cut in right in the center, as deep as you want your flag, and then go from the corner over. Same thing on this side. Cut in it to the center, as deep as you want your flag, and then go corner to corner. If you screw these up, you can hide it. So don't worry about it. It's easy. <laughs> I know I always say it's easy. And then somebody says, that wasn't easy at all. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to just stick that right one there. And I'm going to stick it on there with a couple of dimensionals. And what you can do if you want to is take your... 
ink. I have got a, that was not a good thing to do. I have some sponge daubers here. And what I do is I try to keep them close to the same color. So I have a red one here. And I'm going to just dip it in that. And just kind of get these edges with that a little bit on the, at the flag. And then on the edges, it just accents the, the, the flags a little bit. And the daubers can be kind of sort of cleaned on your chamois. You know, just dip them in there. That's good enough. I know Karen is not here yet, but she usually tries to join. And she, she said she was getting us after her baseball games, after the baseball games on her way home. She was actually getting us in the car which her husband then said, can she hear you? So I'm hoping she finds us in the car again so I can say hi to him. If she's in the car. Okay, so we have put that there. And we're going to take our cherry. And again, I just put one, <coughs> excuse me, one dimensional there. Now the stem... <coughs> Excuse me. This stem I glued on because it's small, it's thin, and I didn't want it sticking up. And there's no dimensionals that will fit. Well, they will. I mean, you can cut them down to make them fit, but I just really didn't want to do that. And my thing's clogged here, and I don't have my pin handy. I try to keep a pin here so that I can unclog these, but I don't see the pin. I had a safety pin, so I'm going to try a toothpick. I doubt that it will work, but we'll see. No, nope, it did work. Okay. No, it didn't. <laughs> oh. Here. Okay. So I'm just putting a couple drops, little drops of glue on that to put it down rather than I'm trying to cut down a dimensional to fit on there. It's just easier, guys. And you don't need it to stick up, right? And it's just one of those things that when you have little pieces like that and you have them sticking up, that's what gets caught in the envelope and rips. So, dimensional on each of the leaves. Hi, Karen. Are you in the car on your way home from the baseball game? You won the card, by the way. You won this card right here. The one that I'm doing. <laughs> so there it is. You have your leaves. Everything's attached. It's ready to go. And we have a second card we're doing with a different punch. So you can see it again. How we did it. Uh, but before we do... We have to do the inside. This stamp set, Sweetest Cherries, and I'm, hmm. Wishing you a day. Sweet day. Okay. Let's do that. Let's put that in there. Let's see. Wishing you a 
Sweet. Good. <laughs> You're welcome, Karen. I was saying earlier, I still have your card from the last time because I had it at the library and you didn't make it. <laughs> But hey, if you want to try again tomorrow, I'll be at the, the UC Sierra Amazonia from one to three. And uh, you, that's just on Penn Avenue, not off Penn Avenue. I don't know if you even want to try it. Oh, poor Karen got so lost last week trying to get to, because they detoured her off of Penn Avenue. It was not a fun trip. She was driving all over Brooks County trying to get to us at the library, and she didn't make it. So here we go. We're going to use the sweet sorbet again. And what I thought I would do, because I just, I don't want it to be all the sweet sorbet. So I'm going to throw some brown. I'll throw some of this in the pecan pie. So I'm going to say... Wishing you a sweet <laughs> and I got it crooked. Ay! Very crooked. So I'm going to flip that over and I'm going to do it again. This time I'm going to line up my grids a little bit here. What do you think? There we go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, ooh, now I got fingerprints all over. Ah, I see why. So, Karen, are you in the car now? Heading home from a baseball game. Because if you are, I was going to say hi to Roger. Hi, Roger. <laughs> okay, so I got fingerprints all over that one, so we'll get rid of that. And we'll try it again. Okay, here we go. Wishing you a Okay, and we'll put We're going to put the cherry on there, too. And actually, I'm sorry, but I have two cards here, so I have to do it again. I'm going to go up a little higher this time. And put the cherry down at the bottom.
And there we go. Hi, Barb. Okay, here we go. So now we just put it together. Open the card. Pull the card, hold the hold the paper up for the glue. Do you know what I just did? Look at that. I had picked up a piece of blank paper. <laughs> I, I picked up a piece of uh, paper underneath this one and stuck the glue on that piece. And I wanted to show you something quick here that I... Okay, see that white spot there? So when I was stamping, I guess I missed a little bit. Now, this is where these markers really come in handy because they pretty much match the ink. So this was garden green ink. All I really want to do is hit the edge so that it doesn't look like it's just floating in the middle of nowhere. And I can leave part of it because it looks kind of like a... See, I, so, I mean, you can touch things up with these pretty easily. They're very good for that. And it dries. When it's dry, you're not going to see that at all. Same again. Lift up your paper. There we go. Okay, that's card number one. Number two is going to be very close to the same. Thank you, Susie. There you go. Um, card number two is with the monkey, little monkey. That's a new one in our catalog. This, the, the in the uh, new annual catalog, and I think it's adorable. And I know everybody likes it. And I tell you the truth, I wasn't going to get it, and then I just kept seeing people doing these cards, and I thought, oh, that okay, that's cute. I'm going to get it. So I got it. And so I decided that when I started doing these um, builder punches and seeing how crazy they are to work with, I thought, okay, I'm going to do, use, I'm going to use the monkey for that too. So if I seem a little distracted, it's because I'm putting these stamps away <laughs> while I'm talking. So that they get put back in the box. Because every now and then I have a tendency to not put stamps back in the box. And then I end up with a whole bunch of stamps and no place to go with them. Well, I have a place to go with them, but I just don't know where they belong. So I'm trying to put things away as soon. Now, and actually what would have looked really cute in the inside... And the cherry, it, there's one with a bite out of it. That would have looked cute, too. So if you are going to make any of these, keep that in mind. Too. Okay, that's it for the cherry. Now, um, the little monkey. Again, we have a monkey builder punch. And we're going to take a piece of white paper. And we're going to take our punch. And we are going to, remember how many times I tried to, yes, oh, Barb, that's great. Second promotion in four years, 14, 15. That is terrific. Congratulations. That's great. Barb really, really struggled. And there was no reason for it because she was very good at the job. You were very good at the job, Barb. You should not have had to go through all you went through. So I'm glad that somebody realized that. So here's my template. And we throw these pieces away. We don't need them for anything. And 
before I start doing anything, well, actually, no, let's cut him out right away. I'm using pecan pie again for him, for the monkey. <clears throat> now, in this case, okay, let's check this out. So the body of the monkey is here. And then we have a banana and we have his face. And those, I don't even know what they are. I, uh, I really don't know. Oh, I know. They're his ears. Okay. They're his ears. Um, I want to use this paper for the monkey. So my other theory isn't quite going to work with this. But what I can do is I can cut a small piece of this color paper. And punch him out with this with this piece of paper because it's just I just want him. Okay, so there he is. Something else to caution you on. This is the first time I've used this punch. I don't know if you can see around the edges of this. They put oil on these punches to make them work good which this one works really well um it apparently has quite a bit of oil on it because i'm getting an oil slick <laughs> around the outside edge around here so if any of you oh yeah i could use the cutout i just threw away but i'm not going to <laughs> Because if I save them all, well, actually, sometimes I do, and I have so many pieces cut out, and then I never use them, so I'm, I throw it away. Uh, there's a little oil all around the outside edge of this. So, caution to any of you who use punches a lot, and I do use punches a lot, so um, punch a bunch of times to get punch a bunch. Oh, that's like a little song punch a bunch of times in scrap paper to get that off. You know, you could use copy paper or something like that to get that oil off. Um, I'm not real concerned about it, though, because guess what? It's only on this part. It didn't come out on the monkey. So there's the monkey. Now we're going to we're going to make him we're going to fix him all up. And here's how. We are going to take some white, piece of white cardstock, and I would like to use his, I want to use his face and the banana and his ears. And the face is a little heart shape. And I'm just trying to find it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. So that's it. That's what his face looks like. Again, I'm going to. Just stick a piece of washi tape on here to hold this. And I'm going to bring it down this way a little more so it fits in the punch. So there's the washi tape. Now, I want this to be as close to a light pinky color. So I'm going to use the petal pink. And hmm. now you know what I'm going to do with this. I am not putting that hard on there because I don't really know that I like that color. I'm going to use some blends, my friends. <laughs> This is the color I used when I colored him. 
So I am just going to color it inside this template. His ears and his face. And then the banana. Same deal. I can punch it, but I'm just going to go ahead and color it. It's just as easy. I mean, yeah, I could stamp it. That's what I meant to say. And I'm going to use a combination. I'm going to use some pecan pie on this. to kind of give it some spots, you know, how bananas have spots. And blend those in. There. Pull off the template. And I also want to punch uh, the little guy's face on here, too. And I'm going to just use, yeah, I'll use the brown to do that, too. So now these pieces are all placed perfect to just go right in this punch. And get punched out. Now we have another little white monkey, which is going to get thrown out. Sorry. <laughs> and actually that whole card is, well, maybe I can use it later for another one. Um, here we go. We're going to put his face on. A little bit of glue. There's his ears. And I'm going to use the tweezers to hold his ears up. <laughs> Keep in mind that whenever you use blends, they do bleed through, so color them before you put them on. I mean, it's not going to matter too much on this brown paper if they show up on the other side, but sometimes you care. Sometimes you don't want them to do that, so just keep that in mind when you're working with these babies. And I'm just going to stick some glue on his little paw over here so he can hold that banana like that. And now he's going to sit aside because we got to put the rest of the card together. So I am casing the catalog. That means I'm copying and sharing what's in the catalog. And I'm doing that because I really liked what was in the catalog. And I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what how it's done so what what i did i took a white card base here okay i took a white card base the monkey is adorable it is <laughs> so okay white card base eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter 
Now I have some of this paper. This is the paper you could use either side because I like either side. Yeah. Okay, this is the paper that was the hostess thing last year um, in last year's catalog. Or no, it was, I think, a celebration. Anyway, you could get it for free and you got a lot of paper, 48 sheets or something like that. So I'm trying to use up this paper. So you're going to see it. You're going to see all these different papers. Then I took um, Bonnie Blue and I ran it through my cutting and embossing machine with these embossing holders. I really like these. I showed them to you before. I'm going to show them to you again. Can you see the design that's in there? Um, they're, they're online exclusives. So you have to go to my online store and look for online exclusives. And there's three in a pack for $30. What is this? One is round, just round dots and one is like little squares and things and I, they're all three I think are really pretty and let's see now I'm going to put this a little off I don't want it exactly straight on so I'm going to just kind of put it off a little bit again I'm holding it up <laughs> I'm going to say that enough times that I will convince you that it works the best Okay, and then I'm taking my next layer. Oh, by the way, layers. Remember I showed you this last week. I want to show you where this came in handy for this, okay? Uh, my base, my card base here is five and a half by four and a quarter. I took it down by a quarter of an inch, five and a quarter by four for this piece. And then I took the next piece down five by three and three quarters. Now I'm going to have one more piece, four and three quarters by three and a half. And let me see, I think I have a piece cut. Maybe I don't. I thought I already cut a piece. Yes, I did. Four and three quarters by three and a half. So I told you I cut this last time. It comes in very handy just for you to look at. Like, so you can say, okay, I think I'm going to do this, but I'm not sure how it's going to look. So I want to try it out. This is the other side. This is the eighth inch. But I want to try this out and see how it's going to look. So I'm going to put this piece on just right. Then I'm going to switch this piece over this way. And then I want this piece straight again. And yeah, that's going to look okay. Okay, so it get, just gives you an idea. So these come in handy. They really do. Um, and I have each one is a different color paper. And they're all down a quarter, stepped down a quarter of an inch. And on the other side, these are all stepped down an eighth of an inch. And I only have like four of these. Just, just to jog my memory. So when you're in a hurry... You don't feel like calculating a quarter inch down or whatever. You can do it this way. So that's that. Okay. So now we're taking our next last layer. And what we're doing with this, we are going to take our leaves and our branches and our other monkey from our stamp set. Okay. Here's the stamp set. I'm using that monkey, these leaves, and that tree branch. And I will use the banana eventually too. So the first thing I'm going to do is stamp the tree branch. And I'm stamping that in pecan pie. that and then the next thing I'm going to do and I'm doing these in a garden green I'm stamping my branches now the branches are going to go in random all over the place okay so 
I'm going to start this guy here. Ooh, that wasn't supposed to happen. I'm <laughs> starting that guy there. I'm going to put another one here in the middle. And then maybe one more over here on the side. Probably try to lean it over as far as I can. Then I'm going to take this one and bring it up here and here. Bring it up there a little bit and maybe another one down here. Okay, and then, then I'm going to fill in all my white spots with this little one. But this little one is also the vine that's hanging down from the tree. So we are going to bring it down through, ooh, through here. For some reason, I am not stamping so nice. Okay, and our monkey is going to hang from that vine. So he's next. He's going to be grabbing onto the vine and just kind of hanging in there. Now, it might look a little funky right now, but we're going to throw in some colors. Again, I'm going to use blends for this, but you can use your watercolor pencils, um, or you could even watercolor with your uh, stamps, uh, stamp palettes. And if anybody is not sure how to do that, you need to let me know and I will show you at some point. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our uh, light pecan pie and dark pecan pie. I'm going to start with the dark and I'm going to color his tail with the dark and I'm going to color along the side of his body here. And his arm and then I'm gonna come in here a little bit and just kind of come down here and that's pretty much it then I'm gonna take the light and I'm gonna blend that right in now I don't want you to have to sit here and watch me color so I'm going to tell you what else I did, and then I'm going to show you what I did. So I blended him in his body, did the same thing here at the top. Now, you might be wondering about this whole leaf thing here going on. There's a reason. I probably should have masked that. So that he actually doesn't have a leaf on his head. I did not want to do that. But we'll fix it. Okay. I took Lemon Lime Twist Parakeet Party. More Lemon Lime Twist. That's light and dark. Granny Apple Green Light, Granny Apple Green Dark. Used all those colors on these leaves and just all over the place. And if you look in the catalog, you'll see that's exactly how they did it. And it really looks cute. So just randomly pick up your colors and color things in here and there. And I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to sit here and color in front of you and make you sit here and watch me color. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what I did. So I went through with one color, then I picked up the next color, then the next color, went through the whole thing. I colored the branch in brown. This is what I ended up with. So now I have my coloring done and I have my monkey made. And I'm, the monkey is gonna go here this monkey because that monkey's there um i want to put more color on his face though because somehow when i cut him out it didn't all show through and 
We also want him to have some pink cheeks. I got green on there. I don't know how I did that, but I can't get it off either. Okay, so he is going to stand up on dimensionals. The catalog did not do this. The catalog actually colored another one and then punched it out. And sat it, put it up there like that. But I think this looks okay like this. I kind of like it. Um, he needs a little bit more on his eyes to give him a little bit of expression. <laughs> So I'm going to do that. And that makes all the difference. Okay, I'm just shading this a little bit because I kind of went over that a little more. And again, I'm trying to cover up his the green that I got on his belly. <laughs> I still don't know how I did that quite. But there we go. And then I'm putting the just swinging by to say hi. And I'm going to put that right up here. And I'm also going to put that in green, too, because everything else is in green. And... Yeah, I'll use the garden green. So we have our layers here, and this is our last layer. Now, one of the things that I thought about with this particular card is I thought this would make an adorable baby card, especially for a little baby boy with the blue, um, and you could just, you know, have a, a little monkey. <laughs> um, just say little monkey up here or something. I'm, a, I'm bananas about you is one of the other sayings. So... You would just glue this back on here. And I think with the coloring, it has quite a bit of embellishment. It doesn't really need any more. And so that's it. And then I, I would use this for a note card so I wouldn't, because it says just swinging by to say hi for somebody who likes monkeys. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then just put a little note inside. So that's how you use your ponchos. And that was the whole point here. Those are our cards for tonight. Hope you liked it. And I hope you have a great week coming up. If you're not doing anything tomorrow, swing by the uh, United Church of Christ of Robizonia, and we will be making cards there. And glad you liked it, Carol. 
So I guess that's it for tonight. And I will see you all next week. Thanks, Karen. Thanks for showing up, everybody. Thank you, Linda. And Carol, I like the monkey card good. I'm glad. And I will see you all next week. Good night.